I just bought the total from Total Lighting Supply the T8 LED lights. That's them up there now. And I'm going to show you how to install these here for those that would like to know, like a friend of mine. So, what I did was I went ahead and I purchased this here, which allows me to put two sets of lights in. That's the supply. I bought a couple of extra of these just so that these will be consistent. Because I said that once you take the ballast off here, you can leave these two up here. You just cut the wires, but they're shorted the connections in there. So, if you actually went ahead and you looked at it, you'd see that if you put a meter on here that this shorted to this. So even though you're going to have in the new ones with the LEDs, you're going to have a positive and a negative, you know, a neutral and a, a black and a white wire here, or a black and a white wire here. Well, these are the dummies because I'm actually going to put them in this end because I come out over here, which is in uh, halfway, more than halfway. So I'm going to put the, the load ones here, the wired ones here. And this year I'm going to strip all out. So I'm going to pause it while I just rip everything out, and then I'll start again. Now, so just you know, make sure you have a meter. You want to make sure the power is off, which I've already done. See, we're good here. We're good here. And uh, now I'll pause it again so I can rip this stuff down and then show you how to hook it up. Just so you know, these kind of just pull right out. Just wiggle them up. There you go. And same thing over here. They just wiggle right out. Here. Just wiggle them up. Because the new ones fit right in. And that's it. Now I'll just take that bolt off over here. And, and that's it. And then I'll go back. What forced me to go to the LED, I wanted to do it, but first of all, it was way too expensive a few years ago. Now that these ballasts, this ballast here happened to work. On the other one, on the other light, it didn't. So the ballasts are no longer made. Could I have gotten another ballast? Possibly for a T8. But I said, you know what? For the amount of the ballast and everything else, I might as well go with the, the new fixtures and uh, go with an LED that's much brighter. And uh, I'll show you how bright it is now. See how bright that is? It's pretty bright. So anyway, that's a 5000K. I don't want a soft light. I want a bright light. And now I have stripped off the caps. And you could see it's empty now. Nothing's in there. Okay, make sure the power's off again. Make sure you wear gloves too if you're going to do it. Some form of electrical gloves, but not cumbersome gloves. Okay. Now I'm just popping them in here. What I did was I twisted some of the... It's pretty hard to look through the the cameras I'm doing this but there's a the cut there they got different cuts on them for the different type of fixtures there you go you see you have an outer cut here an inner cut here we're gonna go for the this this inside cut here and just pop them right in see snap right in I twisted these a little bit just for ease of of maintaining it up against the the ceiling here when I go ahead to do it now I'll tie them up here and I'll go put the pl replacements one in there you can give me a moment. I purchased these too. And we've used these before where you just slip the wire in, makes it nice and easy. And then you got your, because this shorts across, so as you put the wires in, it's a nice fit. But I do prefer the older standards doing the wire, the wire nuts. So I want to make sure when I twist them in, they're going to be good. Because from time to time, I'm not saying these are bad, we've had ones that have gone bad. So with the wire nuts, I think uh, it's better. And then once you do the wire nuts, you also tape it, pull on it, make sure it's good, and then you secure it. You must make sure that after you do that, you put the, the label on. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not that good at the photography. But it does say that this fixture has been modified for use for 120 and 277 volt, you know, LED and do not use it with a fluorescent ballast. And I'm sorry I can't focus in on it. I should have focused it before I put it up, but that's what it says. When I stripped them, I stripped just enough on them so you can uh, get enough twist to get on here so uh, the wire nut will catch it good enough. So maybe about three quarters of an inch. Cut the excess off after it's twisted on. 
So now what I've done is I've twisted the two whites together. And this is just to feed the lights. And I twisted the two blacks together, as you can see. And now I'll connect them to the hot. So I got my two whites, which is the neutrals. They're all together. And then I got the two blacks, which is hot. And on the LEDs, it says L for low. So that's set now. So now what I'll do is put the camera down. I'll tie them to the hot and the positive, And then I'll show you what's next. If you do go with the wire nuts, make sure they're on tight. Hold it with one hand, pull on the other. If none of the wires come out, that's good. And then the next step, what you're going to do is you're going to tape the crap out of it. Now what you can see is they're all taped up. They're up here good. I just put another piece of black tape onto the, the grounding wire here because that's good. I put another piece of black tape here just to hold these things up here. And now what we'll do is we'll put the, the cover over here. Oh, before we do that, what we're going to do is we'll come over here. I'll, have, uh, I'll test the lights. So we'll put the positive and the negative here. Make sure we got the 120 volts coming out of here and here. So you know your wire is good, you know these guys are good, and then you can go ahead and start setting up for the preparation for the light. With the LEDs, you can just make sure you label these, these right up here because, uh, you know, I wrote mine up here black, and then there's a white down. If you know that's black, you know the bottom's white. It's opposite on the other side. Black is on top, white's on the bottom. Just the way that they built it. And uh, I put this up here, those are the holders. And give me a moment, we'll put the bulbs up and see how well they do. For these bulbs that I got here, you can see that they're labeled. You got N for neutral, and L for load, which is your, your hot, your hot wire. And these are gonna go in. Now what we did was we tested the circuits. We tested all that prior, and everything works good. We got the 110, 120 volts up there, and we're good. So now what we're gonna do is put in the lights. Now it's in, and you can see the beauty with this is because it's single feed, fed, you know, you can test this light in first, make sure it's good, and then you can put the next light in. Okay, the lights are now installed, and this is the LEDs, what they look like, and you'll see how bright they'll be in one second. Now I'm gonna put the casing on top with a cover, and that's what they look like. All LED lights, cut my voltage quite a bit from, uh, 240 40 watt bulbs in each to 18 watts so that's pretty good and that's it that's all you need to do done